Biryani is soul food. It's all over the world. Different, unique styles, each claiming that they're the best. In Dubai, there's hundreds of biryani joints. Today, we're checking out two spots. One is on the more economical side. And the second one is 165 dirhams, which is one of the pricier biryanis that you get in Dubai. It's not the most expensive at 1,000, but that's because... So I'm gonna check out these two places and rate them on ambience, experience, presentation, and taste. So this place that I'm at right now is a small little cafeteria. It, it's very like, come in, have your lunch, get up. And this biryani costs only 11 bucks. And I'm sure you can hear the noise behind me, like, it's busy, because this is like peak lunchtime, right? It's one o'clock. It's like the cheapest place that I could find. I just wanted to walk into a place that sells biryani for cheap and try it out and see what it's like. And it's very like, eat with your hands. People who work around the area typically tend to come here and eat. All of the cafeterias around will have similar kind of food. You'll have your fresh juices, you'll have your burgers, uh, like Zynga burger, fried burger, things like that. And you'll have some daisy food. So you can get like parotta chicken curry and you can get like biryani. In terms of ambience, it's pretty male dominated, so it's not the kind of place you'd bring your wife or family to. And they know that. I saw a woman coming into order, but she was getting something to go. So she wouldn't sit here and eat. So in terms of ambience, it's small. The AC is not working very well. And this is the expensive place. It's called Bombay Brasserie and it's located in Taj, Dubai. It's meant to be a designer Indian kitchen. And uh, I've heard a lot about this spot and I've been meaning to come here for a while. And uh, I'm glad the first thing I'm gonna do here is try their biryani. So Bombay Brasserie is a designer five-star Indian kitchen. So it looks and feels like you'd expect. It's in the Taj, it's a great place for special occasions, large groups, and if you're in the mood for a five-star modern Indian foodie experience. In terms of ambience, there's really no comparison. But cheap always wins the convenience game. It looks nice, it looks really nice and flavorful. Lots of masala and stuff going on over here. And one piece of chicken standard, typically what happens, you get Flavored rice, you get a lot of masala and you get one piece of chicken. Okay, the expensive one, it costs 165 dirhams and they're making two kinds of biryanis for us today. One is a lamb biryani in a glass pot. And the other is a chicken biryani which is steamed in a bamboo shoot. Let's see what the cheap biryani tastes like. Ooh, cashew nut, not like that. It's really good. <laughs> That's a good biryani, man. This is, if I wanted a quick, cheap, easy biryani, I would totally order this. Super economical, it's just 11 dirhams. It's very flavorful. So after you're done with lunch, you're gonna feel like, yeah, I've had a good lunch. It's tasty enough that if I was in the area and I wanted a quick, yummy uh, lunch, just come in, have some lunch, back to work. I would totally come to this spot. But it's not that kind of biryani that I would drive across town to go and have. Mmm. That's really good. For me, no biryani is complete without a nice Pepsi. This is my guilty pleasure. I love watermelon. How did you know? <laughs> watermelon, strawberry, mint, and lemon juice. Oh yeah, that's delicious, dude. Thank you. Oh man, that smells awesome. So the bamboo biryani, which technically the same thing, but then steamed inside of a bamboo in the tandoor. So it gives it that smoky flavor. I want to eat with my hands, but it's a nice place. Like, do people eat with their hands here? Yeah. They do? Yeah. I'm gonna not do that. Fork and knife biryani eating. Oh dude, this, this lamb is really tender. It's just falling off. Look at that, just no effort whatsoever. It's cooked to perfection. Mmm, mmm, well done Chef Ajay, that's a really good biryani, chicken biryani in a bamboo, can I taste that smokiness? Mmm, yeah you can, lamb biryani is the clear winner. 
So just because you go to an expensive place does not mean that the biryani is going to be better. In this video, the expensive one happened to be and it was clearly a much tastier, much better biryani than the cheap one. There are of course hundreds and hundreds of biryani joints all around town and there are really economical ones that are absolutely delicious. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy these biryanis. If you like the video, don't forget to like and share and subscribe if you haven't already. Still wrong with boots. How do you get out of them? Huh.